Amonite's discovery has just upended the search for Planet 9. Its orbit doesn't fit the pattern astronomers expected, casting doubt on the very foundation of the Planet 9's hypothesis. Stick around, because I'll show you exactly why this is such a shock, and how it could force us to rethink everything we thought we knew about the outer solar system. For years, astronomers have been chasing the idea that a giant, hidden planet is lurking far beyond Neptune, shaping the orbits of a handful of distant icy worlds. The evidence seemed compelling. Several of these remote objects, called sedenoids, appear to have orbits that clustered together in a way that just didn't look random. The leading theory was that something massive, maybe five or ten times the mass of Earth, was hurting these objects into place pulling their orbits into alignment from the shadows. This mysterious world, nicknamed Planet Nine, became the holy grail of planetary science, sparking a global search and capturing imaginations everywhere. But then came Ammonite, a newly discovered object with an orbit so peculiar that it doesn't fit the neat clustering Planet Nine was supposed to explain. Instead of reinforcing the case for a hidden planet, Ammonite's path is tilted and stretched in ways that break the pattern. If Planet Nine is out there, why isn't Ammonite playing by its rules? The orbits of other sedenoids like Sedna and 2012 VP113 seem to line up as if they were being herded by something massive. Ammonite, however, is the oddball. Its closest approach to the Sun is about 60 times farther than Earth and it swings out to more than 250 times that distance. It's not just the distance that's strange, it's the orientation and shape of the orbit that sets Ammonite apart. This matters because the whole Planet Nine idea was built on the assumption that these distant objects were being influenced by a single, massive planet. The discovery of Sedna in 2003, followed by other distant objects, seemed to support this idea. Their orbits were oddly aligned, as if they were being shepherded by something big and mysterious. The more objects astronomers found, the stronger the case seemed to get, until Ammonite came along and broke the mold. So what exactly makes Ammonite's orbit so unique? While other sedenoids seem to huddle together in space, Ammonite is off on its own, following a path that doesn't fit the expected pattern. This is the real curveball. Ammonite's orbit hints that there's more to the story than a single hidden planet. Its existence suggests that the outer solar system might be shaped by more complex forces than we realized, or that the clustering of orbits we've seen so far could be a coincidence or the result of how we search for these objects. Now, scientists are left with a puzzle. If Ammonite doesn't fit the Planet Nine pattern, what does that mean for the hypothesis itself? Is Planet Nine still out there but with a weaker grip on the outer solar system than we thought? Or is there another explanation entirely, one that doesn't require a hidden planet at all? Some astronomers have started to wonder if the clustering of these distant orbits could be due to the way we search for them, rather than the influence of a giant planet. Others propose that Ammonite and its kin might have been shaped by ancient stellar flybys, or even by ghost planets that were ejected from the solar system long ago. The discovery of Ammonite is more than just a new data point. It's a challenge to the way we think about the solar system's frontier. It's a reminder that the universe doesn't always follow our expectations and that every new discovery has the potential to upend even our most cherished theories. As astronomers scramble to make sense of Ammonite's orbit, one thing is clear. The search for Planet Nine just got a lot more complicated and a lot more interesting. As astronomers scramble to make sense of Ammonite's orbit, the search for answers grows more complicated. The unexpected path of this distant object hints at forces and theories that may have shaped our solar system in ways we're only beginning to imagine, opening the door to a cascade of new questions about what else might be lurking in the darkness beyond Neptune. If Ammonite's orbit doesn't fit the Planet Nine pattern, then how did it end up on such a strange path? This is the question that's now keeping astronomers up at night. 
The discovery has thrown open the doors to a whole new set of theories, each one more intriguing than the last. If a single giant planet isn't responsible for shaping the outer solar system, then what forces could have sculpted Ammonite's bizarre trajectory? The answer might lie in the chaotic, tumultuous history of our solar system, a story that's only just beginning to unfold. One leading idea is that Ammonite's orbit was shaped by a close encounter with another star billions of years ago. In the early days of the solar system, our sun was born in a crowded stellar nursery, surrounded by sibling stars. If one of those stars passed close by, its gravity could have yanked objects like Ammonite into distant, elongated orbits, flinging them far from the sun and leaving them stranded on the solar system's edge. This scenario would explain why Ammonite's orbit doesn't match the neat clustering expected from Planet 9's influence. Instead, it suggests that the outer solar system is a graveyard of cosmic fossils, each one a relic of ancient chaos. But that's not the only possibility. Some scientists have proposed that Ammonite's orbit could be the result of ghost planets, worlds that once roamed the outer solar system but were ejected long ago. These lost planets could have scattered objects like Ammonite into their current orbits before vanishing into interstellar space. If true, Ammonite might be a survivor of a solar system that was once far more crowded and violent than it is today. This idea paints a picture of a dynamic, ever-changing solar system, where planets come and go, leaving behind only subtle clues in the orbits of distant objects. There's also the possibility that Ammonite's orbit is the product of pure chance, or even a result of the way we search for these distant objects. Our telescopes can only scan certain parts of the sky at certain times, and it's possible that the clustering we've seen so far is just a coincidence, a trick of the data rather than the fingerprint of a hidden planet. If that's the case, then Ammonite is a reminder of how much we still have to learn about the outer solar system and how careful we need to be when drawing conclusions from limited evidence. Hey Curious Squad, before we dive deeper, make sure to hit like and subscribe if you're fascinated by the mysteries of our solar system's edge. There's a whole universe of strange discoveries out there, and you won't want to miss what we uncover next. What makes Ammonite even more fascinating is its stability. Despite its odd orbit, Abonite has been circling the sun for billions of years, untouched by the chaos that shaped the rest of the solar system. This makes it a true cosmic fossil, preserving a record of the solar system's ancient past. By studying Ammonite and objects like it, scientists hope to piece together the story of how our solar system formed, evolved, and survived the violent events of its youth. But the mystery doesn't end there. If Ammonite is just one of many objects, what else might be lurking in the darkness beyond Neptune? Are there more cosmic fossils waiting to be discovered, each one holding a piece of the puzzle? The search is on, and every new discovery has the potential to rewrite the story of our solar system's origins. As astronomers scan the skies for more distant objects, they're not just looking for Planet Nine, they're searching for the keys to understanding the very history of our cosmic neighborhood. By studying objects like Ammonite, scientists are uncovering clues that point to a solar system shaped by ancient upheavals and hidden influences. Each new discovery adds another layer to the puzzle, suggesting that the outer reaches of our cosmic neighborhood may hold surprises that challenge every assumption about how planets form, migrate, and survive. Ammonite's discovery hasn't just changed the conversation about Planet Nine, it's completely transformed the way scientists are thinking about the outer solar system and the future of planet hunting. Instead of narrowing the search, this one object has blown the doors wide open, revealing just how much we still don't know about the distant reaches of our own cosmic neighborhood. The search for Planet Nine is now more complicated, but also more exciting than ever before. With Ammonite's orbit refusing to fit the old patterns, astronomers are rethinking their strategies from the ground up. 
Instead of focusing only on the neat clustering of orbits that once seemed to point to a single hidden planet, researchers are now casting a much wider net. They're using new telescopes, more sensitive surveys, and advanced computer models to look for patterns that might have been missed before. The hope is that by finding more objects like Ammonite, each with its own unique story, they can piece together a clearer picture of what's really happening at the edge of the solar system. One of the most exciting developments is the use of next-generation sky surveys, which are scanning vast swaths of the sky with unprecedented detail. These surveys are expected to uncover dozens, maybe even hundreds of new distant objects in the coming years. Each new discovery is like adding another piece to a cosmic jigsaw puzzle, helping scientists test their theories and refine their models. The more objects they find, the better they can understand whether the outer solar system is shaped by hidden planet, ancient stellar encounters, or something even stranger. But Ammonite's impact goes beyond just the search for Planet Nine. Its existence forces scientists to rethink how planets form and migrate, not just in our solar system, but in planetary systems across the galaxy. If objects like Ammonite are common, it could mean that the processes that shaped our solar system's outer edge are at work elsewhere too. This opens up new questions about how common cosmic fossils might be, and what they can tell us about the history of other star systems. At the same time, Ammonite reminds us that the universe is full of surprises. Every time astronomers think they figure out the rules, a new discovery comes along that rewrites the playbook. The story of Ammonite is a perfect example. What started as a search for a hidden planet has turned into a much deeper mystery about the origins and evolution of our solar system. It's a humbling reminder that science is always a work in progress and that the most exciting discoveries are often the ones we never saw coming. So what would it take to finally confirm or rule out Planet Nine? The answer is more data, lots more. Scientists need to find more distant objects, map their orbits with greater precision, and develop new models that can explain the full range of what we're seeing. It's a massive challenge, but also an incredible opportunity. Every new discovery, whether it fits the old patterns or breaks them, brings us one step closer to understanding the true nature of our solar system's mysterious edge. And what if the next big find is even stranger than Ammonite? That's the thrill of exploration. Every answer leads to new questions, and the universe always seems to have another surprise waiting just beyond the horizon. Maybe the next cosmic fossil will finally reveal the true history of our solar system. Or maybe it will open up an entirely new mystery that no one has even imagined yet. So what do you think? Is Planet Nine still out there? Or is the real story even weirder than we thought? Let us know your theories and wildest guesses in the comments below. And to learn more now, check out our Planet Nine videos on our end screen.